www stands for World Wide Web, but did you ever wonder why we type this in when we go to a website? To access the World Wide Web, you type in www. As you can tell by the title of this video, using www is mostly useless, but in order to fully understand why, I'm going to share with you some very interesting things about the web and websites that you probably weren't even aware of. Let's start out with this guy who invented the World Wide Web back in 1989. This right here was the first web page on the internet, but notice how it did not include www. So why then did it become a thing? Back in the early web days, it was common for a single server to be dedicated to hosting a website, a separate server to host email, and another one to host a blog. While these servers might share the same domain name, a subdomain was added to distinguish them. And that's really all www is. It's a subdomain. But wait, what if you have a website at www.example.com? What's going on at example.com? Well, in most cases, it's the same exact thing. That's right, www.example.com is the same exact website as example.com. But it gets worse. All six of these URLs point to the same exact website. And the way that that is possible is with something called a redirect. A website owner can use a redirect to handle all six of these variations. So no matter which one a visitor types into a web browser, everyone will end up at the same place. And the cool thing is that this happens all the time and we can see it in action right now. For example, going to google.com will redirect you to www.google.com, while going to www.twitter.com will redirect you to just twitter.com without the www. So not only typing www is unnecessary, but saying it is just as silly. You guys, you I'm... don't have to say www. But yet... I don't want to have this conversation again. What are you talking about, Melissa? Yeah, you have to can... say it, Melissa. You gotta say it. You don't, it. You because everyone it. knows what it means. How do you know it's a website? Because you say .com. Yeah, but how do you know, how do you know it's, it's www? Just... Yeah, yeah, how do you know that's a good point? Because it's just one of those things that when something's around for a long enough time in society, you can just abbreviate like it. Like what else? Like what? Like what names? For like... Names yeah, of that's people? what I was saying. All right, you know what? Say www. I don't care. No, oh, you know what I'm saying. No, forget it. You're right. In fact, don't say www. Say World Wide Web every time you say a website. No, oh, that's a total waste. That's a waste that's... of time. I think Douglas Adams says it the best, and he said, quote, The World Wide Web is the only thing I know of whose shortened form takes three times longer to say than what it's short for. And you know, the funny thing is that not everyone says it the same. W, double W, full stop. Triple W dot. W, W, W dot. W, W, W dot. W, W, W dot. And that is just the English language. At the end of the day, there is no standard or policy or requirement for any website to have a www subdomain. But my guess is that this unnecessary practice will continue for quite some time. There's this really great website targeted at website owners at dropwww.com that lists 10 reasons why you should drop www, including like we just talked about it being unnecessary, it's hard to say, it takes longer to type, it takes up more space in the address bar, it uses extra data, it creates confusion, it causes bounced emails, which I found interesting that apparently some people add www to email addresses, it creates inconsistent branding, no one says the World Wide Web anymore, probably because it's often confused with the internet. And finally, no www is a future, which we already saw with Twitter dropping www, while other examples of this are Zoom, Outlook, Discord, and WordPress. If you made it this far in the video, I bet you'll love to get the full scoop on HTTP and HTTPS in this video right here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you over there.